Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. So I've got this presentation and I'll, I'll uh, see if, oh, there's Alexi. Hey, Alexi. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? I'm fine. E everything good? Yes, last day of school, very good. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. There you go. Yeah, we were wondering where everyone was and I guess last it's the last day of school, huh? Good for you. Well, here we go. We'll, we'll go ahead and get started. We don't have a lot of uh, students today, but we'll, we'll see how many join us as we go. So let me do the share screen, see if I can get this going. There we go. Okay, American holidays. And let's get this so it's... Nice topic. Yeah, good topic. And uh, yeah, American holidays and how they are celebrated. And uh, yeah, it's a big topic, but we'll see if we can get through it. So over my many years of living and visiting in Ukraine, I learned one thing. Ukraine has many, many holidays. <laughs> it seemed like every week, there was a holiday. There's something going on, something to celebrate. But in America, not so many, not so many holidays in America. And I've listed them right here. New Year's Day, of course, and then Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. You may know about him. He was a, a great civil rights leader for African Americans in the uh, last century. And uh, he was an amazing a leader in person. And so we celebrate his birthday in January. And then also our first president, uh, George Washington, his birthday, and that's in February. And these are all days off. These are days off of work, you know, where you stay at home. Then we have Memorial Day, which is coming up on Monday. So this weekend in America, whoa, big holiday. <laughs> that's, that's, this is a big deal in America. The one that many of you may know about, July 4th, and this is our Independence Day. And this is again, a huge holiday in America and it's independence you know, from Great Britain, from England. You know, when we, when we had our war with them and we were finally independent, this is our big celebration day. And then in September, sort of toward the end of summer, uh, we celebrate something called Labor Day which uh, recognizes uh, workers in America, people who work, people who make our country what it is. Then uh, Columbus Day, you know, uh, uh, celebrating Christopher Columbus. Uh, and this is October 11. And then November 11 is Veterans Day. And veteran means someone who fought in wars, people who fought in wars for American, uh, in the American army and in the American Navy. This is Veterans Day for that. Then the two big ones that you probably know about, Thanksgiving, which is a huge holiday in America in November. And then last but not least, uh, our Christmas Day is celebrated on December, uh, as opposed to uh, Ukraine, which is in January. So those are, that's it. <laughs> those are the holidays. <laughs> we don't have a lot of them. So American holidays are actually celebrated. Uh, with parties and gatherings with families, but not all of them. Only a few of them are actually really celebrated where you actually do something. And these are New Year's Day, Memorial Day, which is this weekend, uh, Independence Day, Labor Day, Thanksgiving Day, and Christmas. These are the big six, the big six holidays. So for religious holidays, because America is a country of immigrants, you know, we're, we have every religion you can imagine. We don't celebrate religious holidays with one exception. Christmas is a religious holiday, but it has become a, a holiday for everyone. So apart from Christmas, we don't celebrate uh, religious holidays in the United States. But of course, we have many of them. 
And so they might be celebrated in small communities around the country, but generally speaking in America, we don't have those days off. So here we go, New Year's Day, first holiday, <laughs> January 1. And one of the huge events that takes place on January 1 is in California, in Pasadena, which is near Los Angeles. And it's called the Rose Parade. Uh, and uh, they create these things called floats. This is called a float. They have 40 of them. And the floats, as you can see, are everything, everything on the float is made from flowers. Everything has to be from a flower or something that grew like on a tree or on a flower or on a bush. Everything on the float. And they create these great designs and they travel. This is uh, underneath this is a little car, a little, little vehicle that transports the float, <laughs> you know, crazy Americans. And so we, we, we have these, uh, we have this big parade and it's a, it's a huge parade, 20 marching uh, bands and more than 1 million people watch this in, uh, in Pasadena every year. And many years ago, um, Barbara and I and, and the kids, uh, we went down and we watched it and it really was a lot of fun to see it in person. So they have, yeah, they have all these floats every year. They're all different. The floats are always different every year. And they have prizes for the best float and for the, you know, all this, all this stuff that Americans love to do. But yeah, they, so this is really a lot of fun. And then, you know, uh, we all, they always have the horses, uh, you know, lots of uh, horse uh, parades in this, you know, behind the floats or in front of the floats. And then lots of marching bands. 20 of them every year. And they march the, uh, the entire eight kilometers. It's a long parade. It's a long way to hike. Uh, so they get pretty tired by the end. And of course- Those bands are from schools or colleges or they're yeah, just- they are. <laughs> they are. They're from, yeah, colleges, universities, and high schools. And high schools, yeah. <clears throat> they actually have a big competition for the schools around the United oh. States. Yeah, so for the best, you know, marching bands and then they fly to California and it's a, it's a big event yeah, for, them to, for them to participate. And then after the parade uh, in Pasadena, they have this big stadium and it's called the Rose Bowl. Bowl meaning the shape of it, the, the, the design. And uh, the Rose Bowl and they have a big American football game. Year's Day. Crazy Americans. Uh, and, during, and then during the game at the, at the intermission or at the halftime, uh, the marching bands go out again. You know. <laughs> so they're really tired by the end of the day. <laughs> and of course, Memorial Day is really to honor those who fought in our wars and who died. And so it always involves uh, visiting, uh, you know, we always have parades that uh, remember those who fought in the wars. Um, and in addition to those parades, we almost, we always go to the cemetery, uh, you know, in your town or nearby. And there's usually a service to remember those who, who fought in wars. Um, Jeff, my, I have one question. Uh, so there is a Veterans Day and also Memorial Day, and both are dedicated for the like former soldiers. Correct. So what is the like? What is the difference between those? Uh, is Veterans Day are mainly for the people who are still like in good in good shape and stay alive, and uh, Memorial is for <laughs> and Memorial Day for those who were killed in action, or like what is the? That's right. You're right. So Memorial Day is to remember those who died. And Veterans Day is just to generally remember everyone, you know, and to thank them. Mm -hmm. So Veterans Day, obviously, you're, you're remembering those who died as well. But Veterans Day is sort of the, yeah, the, the bigger picture of those who are still alive, obviously, and to remember those who, uh, uh, who are now currently serving in the military. Yeah, yeah good question, Stas. Very good. <laughs> 
Yeah, so we so we you know, always go to the cemetery. There's usually a big service, and this is at near the White House. This is uh, near in Washington D.C., where they have a big service on Memorial Day. And then it's a big party. You know, it's a big picnic in America. And one of the big events, and they have a lot of for some reason they have a lot of car races uh, in America on this day. They're all over the country, and the largest one is in my home state of Indiana, where I was born many, many, many years ago. <laughs> and it's in the city of Indianapolis. And they have this big race there. It's a 500 mile, which is about 800 kilometer race around this big track. And uh, it's the largest car race in the world. They have a, almost a half a million people, 450 thousand people uh, attend this every year. And when I was young and still living in Indiana, I, my, my parents took me to this. It was really fun. <laughs> but this is sort of the beginning of summer. So baseball gets going again all over the country. This is a famous uh, baseball stadium in New York City. And this is where the New York Yankees, the baseball team in New York, uh, this is where they play. And of course, this is the official opening of swimming pools around the country. Almost every town and village and community has a, a community swimming pool. And on Memorial Day, they open. You know, it's sort of the beginning of summer. So yeah, so this weekend, swimming pools will be open. And there are a lot of boats. A lot of people love to boat in America. There are 17 million boats <laughs> in America. It's unbelievable. And, uh, you know, so because we have a lot of water, we have the oceans, we have the, you know, the Caribbean, we have the Gulf of Mexico, and we have the Great Lakes, those five huge lakes in the center of the country. So there's a lot of places to boat. So yeah, 17 million boats in America and Memorial Day is sort of the beginning of the boating season, you know, where people take their boats out and they start, they start their summer on the boats. And of course, on smaller lakes and streams and rivers, water skiing, very popular in America. Have you ever tried this, Stoss? Have you, have you tried the no. water skiing? Christy, have you... Uh, Neela, <laughs> does this look interesting to you? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Alexi, what do you think? Would you like to try this, Alexi? Mm, no, because it's uh, dangerous and the uh, high speed on water. And, uh, yeah, that's very. That's I very don't good. want to injure my le legs, uh, arms. <laughs> That's very, that's very smart. That's a good thinking, Alexi. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and of course, uh, also this weekend, um, in our little neighborhood where I live and all over the country, there'll be lots of picnics. You know, this is the outdoor picnic event and families and friends get together. They have too much food and too much beer and too much everything. And it's a big it's a big party this weekend. <laughs> and then, of course, the next big one in July of this year will be Independence Day. And, of course, this is the one where lots of fireworks, lots of fireworks. Every small town, every city, they all have big fireworks displays. Yeah, yeah this is a big one. Lots of fireworks. And of course, you have lots of barbecue. <laughs> lots of barbecue. And so, yeah, so what's this uh, Metakonsky Shashlik, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we got, that. <laughs> we, got that. we got that going. And of course, the classic American hot dog and hamburger. And French fries, which is not so American, but anyway. <laughs> and 
And then this is when people love to go to the ocean because it's usually finally really warm by July. And did you know that America has 20,000 kilometers of ocean beaches? Because we have all of this ocean, you know, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Caribbean, all these oceans. So yeah, so lots of, lots of beaches. Looks like fun. <laughs> and then the next one uh, in September uh, is Labor Day. And this is- First Monday of September. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The first Monday of September. Very good, Stas. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so on, this is celebrating, you know, people who work essentially, which is of course most people, but it's still called Labor Day. And it's sort of the end of summer, you know, it's, this is sort of where we celebrate one last time in the summer. And as you may know, Americans, uh, we have a different calendar for seasons than you do in Ukraine. Our seasons are uh, based on the uh, celestial calendar, the, the stars. <clears throat> so, uh, for example, uh, you know, our first day of summer is June 21 because that's the longest day of the year. And our shortest day of the year in December, December 21, that's, that's the first day of winter. And then the first day of spring is the day where it's equal sun and, and, and uh, dark. And uh, that's usually around March 21. Yeah, and that's the first day of spring. And then, uh, of course, in September, September 21 is the first day of autumn or fall. So anyway, so this is sort of, we're getting near the end of the summer. So Americans have one last big holiday in summer. And again, swimming pools close on Labor Day. This is their last day. So of course, Americans all go on the last day. You know, they all go, go to the swimming pool. So <laughs> the swimming pools are very busy on Labor Day. And uh, lots of parties, lots of picnics, lots of outdoor events. This is the last time to celebrate uh, summer uh, with a holiday. Uh, this is San Francisco, by the way, if you haven't been to San Francisco, it's kind of pretty. And lots of outdoor concerts. For some reason, Labor Day has become a great time to have outdoor concerts. So there are concert areas, of course, all over the United States. And everyone loves to go to outdoor concert events on Labor Day. And then we get into November. Oh, let me think, November. Uh, Listopad, is it Listopad? Yes. Is that right? Yeah, the falling leaves uh, month. Yeah, I remember that, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's Turkey Day. That's when people <laughs> eat way too much and we have uh, all of these things. We have uh, pumpkin pie. We have uh, sweet potatoes, which are these strange looking orange potatoes. We have, of course, turkey. We have all kinds of uh, cranberry sauce, these little cr red cranberries. So this is a big deal. Uh, everyone, of course, again, eats way too much. And uh, thank <laughs> and Thanksgiving, and it's, it's to celebrate uh, when America uh, was settled, of course, many, many, many years ago, and the original settlers had a day to celebrate with the Native Americans, and so this picture sort of shows you what it might have looked like. Uh, and yeah, lots of food, way too much food. And of course, it is when families and friends get together, and it's a great holiday because it's always on a Thursday last Thursday in November. So you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a great four-day holiday. So it means many people can travel. And so uh, Thanksgiving is the busiest travel day in America. You know, oh boy, everyone's traveling, driving, flying, taking the train, you know, whatever, uh, to be together with their friends and family. And yeah, well, you get the idea, lots of food, <laughs> again.
<laughs> lots of food. <laughs> and then by tradition, uh, lots of naps afterwards, lots of sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Usually you eat uh, in the afternoon, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon or three o'clock in the afternoon. So everyone eats for a few hours and then they take a nap. I love it. This is a great picture. I love this picture. <laughs> It's not typical of Americans, you know. Just sleep, yeah, this is, have a nap. <laughs> yeah, this is every American I know. This is this is it. Yeah, <laughs> this is nap time. And then, of course, the last uh, holiday of the year, the big Christmas holiday. Uh, you all you all know about that. You know, got to have the Christmas tree with the lights, and the decoration. And again, way too much food, lots of cookies, lots of sweet things. Uh, these are the cookies that I made last year. Thank you very much. These are, these are my, my cookies. <laughs> nice. how, thank, thank. how did you do that tree, the Christmas tree? Oh, it's a secret I can't share. This is very <laughs> family, uh, <laughs> family secrets. <laughs> Ah, it's, it's easy. It's easy. I just have a little thing that I just use color and just, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, of course, lots of, you know, again, way too much food, way too many presents, way just everything is too much. Everything is lots of parties, lots of events. And, uh, of course, uh, our Christmas morning, which is the 25th, you know, that's when everyone opens up these uh, presents. And so all over the country, there are lots of families together opening presents. I, I want to have these next year. I want to get a pair of these uh, antlers. Yeah, <laughs> and wear those next year. I like those. And then, of course, uh, you know, after the presents, th on the, oh, yeah, and so this is our house. This is, uh, this was Christmas last year. Oh, there's, there's Ozzy. There's Ozzy making sure the tree is okay. And this little office, this is where I am. This is, this is me. That's my chair, and that's where I'm sitting talking to you right now. <laughs> Good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Christmas uh, in Olympia, Washington. And uh, you know, you know <laughs> these crazy, uh, crazy Americans with their lights. You know, some of these houses are, you know, you can't believe what people do. Uh, they're all over the place. Everywhere you go, you see some houses just really put out lots of lights. Uh, this next picture, this is our house. This is where we live, and we put out some lights. We do a good job, but not, not like. Not like that. <laughs> We're a little more, a little more modest with the lights. So yeah, this this was our house last uh, last Christmas. And not so much snow. Yeah, yeah, we yeah we did yeah we don't get much snow. We only get just uh, just a little snow. Oh, in yeah, yeah. But oh, this is my favorite uh, Christmas uh, view. So this is in New York. New York. Yeah, New York City. You're right, Stas. And it's a place called Rockefeller Center. It's a business complex in the center of, of Manhattan in New York City. And uh, it's great because they, they always put up this huge tree and light it. But there's also a skating, you know, ice skating uh, rink mm -hmm. here. And uh, when I lived, uh, when I worked in New York City, you know, many years ago, uh, my office was right here. I worked in this office building right here. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? And so uh, I would always walk over through here, you know, during the day or in the evening if I was staying late, because it was such a great scene. You know, it was just a great, because it's below the ground, like the street is here. So here's the street. And you look down onto the skating rink and you see the tree. And oh, it's just it's just a really cool place. Yeah, it's really fun to see. And uh, this is every year in in New York City. Uh, have you been there? No. 
Why not? I've been, I have such pictures in front of this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so many memories. It's the best place I've been. Yeah. It's, did you did you go, Christy? Yes, I've been here. Yeah. I have yeah, many yeah. pictures. Yeah, because you were in New Jersey, right? So you, yeah. you went across. Yeah. 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 Sure. Okay, you were closer. Yeah, you were yeah. you were right there. Yeah, I remember that crowd. This because we've been 